Hey there YouTube, welcome to the ACH Automotive channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell below in the lower right hand corner of your screen so you can see when we post the latest videos. Doing a slightly different type of video today, I picked up an Autel MaxiScope M408 uh, for an upcoming project which will debut on the channel here shortly. Uh, this is the first time I've ever owned or used a scope, so I'm kind of learning as I go along. I spent quite a bit of time doing uh, some research as to what was the best bang for your buck type of scope. Um, I looked at the Hantech series, or Hantech, I think it's Hantech, uh, and the Pico scopes. Uh, Hantechs being on the really cheap side, and Pico scopes being on the most expensive side. Um, obviously, I ended up with the Autel M408, as you uh, can see from the title here in this video. Uh, it was the research that I did said it was pretty much the best bang for your buck at about $400 for the kit. Uh, I felt it was pretty reasonable price-wise for somebody who, like myself, is just starting out with the or in the world of automotive oscilloscopes. Um, so I'll put a link to it down, uh, an Amazon link to it down in the comment section of this video. Uh, the Amazon link will be an affiliate link, uh, but it's a great way to help support the channel. I turn all the Amazon fees that I get uh, back into tools for the channel, whether that be you know a newer GoPro or actual tools to do a job with. Um, it doesn't cost you or I anything, so if you could help out the channel, I would really appreciate the support. Um, now let's have a look at our Autel MaxiScope M408. Okay, let's grab our box here and open her up. Let's see what we got. And this is the basic kit, so it's Autel MP408-Basic, and it's the maxi scope. Uh, it will work with either a Windows PC, which is what we're going to use it on, or a Autel MaxiSys tablet, which uh, at some point my goal is to pick one of those up, but they're significantly more expensive, so for the time being, we're going to use, uh, today I'm going to use my laptop to show you the software because that's what I have my screen recorder on. Uh, but typically I will use my Surface Pro 4 for, and I think you guys have seen it in some of my Alpha OBD uh, Chrysler videos um, for mobile repair work or diagnostic work. Um, so let's open this guy up here. Comes in a nice hard shell case up here. Have. Hit my monitors. All right. Put these tabs in. It comes with some very basic uh, leads. Uh, it's, a, it's like a two prong test lead here. Just some basic leads with BNC connectors, a uh, pair of multimeter leads. This is an ignition secondary ignition tester, I believe. And what I find kind of interesting is that you can see it says Hantech on it. So Hantech must be working with or providing some of the accessories for Autel. Same thing with the uh, two attenuators that come with it, along with these uh, alligator clips. Come with, it comes with some bigger alligator clips, some back probe pins. Um, we'll put these away for the moment because I'm not, we're not showing those quite yet today. Um, I've got to teach myself a little bit about the scope before I can show you guys how to use it. Um, you get some more more stuff over here, more adapters. It's a very, very basic kit. Um, if you go check, check out aeswave.com, there's way more uh, adapters you can get for uh, your P either your Pico scope or your Autel or Handtech. They're all fairly universal. Um, let's open up this, this guy here, and that's the scope itself. This side comes with a USB cable and another lead there. Let's open this one up. And it's fairly well built. Um, I'm, I mean, it's fairly rugged. It's got a nice rubber case around it. The back side has a USB port. There are four, it's a four channel scope. So there are four channels, A, B, C, D. And uh, they're all BNC connectors, which I think most of the scopes are. So let's swap over to, uh, we also have a quick reference getting started guide. I would also uh, encourage you to visit Autel's webpage and actually get the full, I think it's like 60 page uh, user's manual for PC or Android. Uh, this scope will also work 
with uh, Android products, I believe. So if you have an Android tablet or Android phone, it will work with that as well. Uh, I don't believe there's any Mac support for it at this time. So you can see, uh, let me see here. Yeah, so minimum specs for a PC. Uh, I'm running Windows 10, which probably most people are. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a high powered machine. Um, or it's Android app. So the Android app only works with the Autel Android tablet and it's not supported on other Android tablets, okay. Um, so I made a mistake there on that one. But uh, so the full, there's a full guide on Autel's webpage. So let's get the USB cable out. Let's, let me grab my screen recorder and I'll show you how to install the Autel software. We're gonna take our USB cable out of our bag here. plug it in, plug one end in to our maxi scope, and let's switch over to our um, computer here and grab the latest version of our Autel software. All right, let's open up our web browser here, and we're gonna go to, we're gonna Google Autel uh, maxi scope MP408. The link that they give you, or the address they show you in the paperwork here, does not seem to work for some reason for me. So I just put the model, make a model number into Google, and I go to Autel. It'll take me to Autel's page, and right here we'll click on the Downloads tab. And since we're on a Windows PC, we're going to use, we're going to select this Maxi MaxiScope for PC version 2.10, and we're going to download it. We can save the file and we'll come over to our downloads page here, sort by date modified. And I've actually already downloaded this. So this is, uh, we can extract it. They give it a really bizarre name. Let's refresh. Oh, I guess I got it sorted weird. All right, let's go down to our Autel folder here and double click our setup. It'll ask you, are you sure? Click yes. And let's go through the installation wizard. It's gonna prepare to install and unfortunately it keeps popping off on my other screen, so I can't I have to keep dragging it back over. So click next, accept all the defaults, install. It's gonna go through its installation. It may prompt you, do you wanna trust this uh, driver? Um, I did have it installed on this machine already because I was playing with it before uh, I actually shot this, this part of the video. Uh, so we'll click finish. And now, now we've got it installed. Uh, let's find our MaxiScope icon here and open this up. Now I don't have the MaxiScope connected to the PC yet. We're going to plug our USB cable in to our laptop. This icon up here will give you an indication whether the scope is connected to the PC or not. Right now it shows gray and it is disconnected. Um, you can see that the scope has a green light flashing on it. So it is communicating with the PC. Give it a minute here. You can see, so let me back up here. Um, if you click on this little gear in the left hand side here with the A in it, it's for auto setup. Uh, we'll go ahead and click OK. It sees it does see our scope, and now you can see that it is connected. If this is the first time that you've connected your Autel MaxiScope MP408 to your computer, uh, you may when you do this auto setup, you may get a message that says your software is out of date. And to fix that, you'll come over to this Help menu and do a check for update, and select Online, and it will come back 
so I, I've already done the software update, unfortunately. Um, so I, I can't, I can't show you that part of it, but you would come over here and it would pull all the updates down. You check them off and tell it to update and it would push the update to your, uh, new scope, your new Autel scope here. And then it would connect to the software. So you can see now this icon up at the top has turned blue and it shows as connected. If we had stuff connected to our scope at this point, we could start to use our scope and dial it in and see some waveforms. Uh, this was more of an unboxing slash show you how to set up the software so that you can run it on your PC video. Uh, I haven't done much with a scope yet, so I'm still learning. So before I try and do any kind of video on that, I've got to uh, train myself a little bit. But I was really excited that I got this scope and I am beginning to get into the world of automotive diagnostics, diagnostics and automotive oscilloscopes. So um, I wanted to share that with you guys because I do have a project coming up on the channel, uh, which I'll show you a video probably this week. That's my hope uh, of what we've got coming. So stay tuned. If you like these videos, you can, uh, you can follow along on uh, social media at ACH Automotive. A lot of the times I will post uh, stuff there before I post it on YouTube just because it's easier to post a picture than it is to edit a whole video and throw that up there So um, those of you that have that do follow me on social media saw that I got this this came in last night So uh, or uh, Friday night um, So really excited to have this Excited to learn about it hoping to be able to get an Autel uh, Maxi sit what is it? I think it's a maxi the maxi sys tablet that goes with this at some point, uh, but those are significantly more money they're like 2500 bucks for for the elite one um so hoping that will come at some point too but for the moment we're starting with the scope for me that was the most cost effective uh method or entry into the automotive world of diagnostics um so if you like these videos again i'll put a link for this maxi scope it's an amazon link in in the um comment section um so if you you like it you want to check it out uh feel free to uh pick pick one up and learn along with me so stay tuned guys thank you for watching